What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Ascalon, and welcome back to another episode of NBA 2K22 Casual Gamer Tips with me, of course, your boy, Ascalon. Today, we're going to be tackling the best drills in practice to grind for those Playmaker badges. All right, so without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and hop right into it. So let's do this. Let's go. Casual Gamer Tips, Playmaker Badges. Check it out. All right, so to start off, of course, you want to head to the practice facility. So get on your skateboard, your BMX bike, whatever you got. And make your way to the practice facility. Actually, went the wrong way, so I got to backtrack. All right, almost there now. Almost there. All right, let's go ahead and head into the practice facility. All right, out of all of the different badges you can grind for in practice, I feel the playmaking drills are the easiest. So there's several different drills that I'm going to showcase in this video that you can use to grind for those badges so we're gonna go ahead and start with the easy ones because a lot of you may not you know have a, a whole bunch of points yet and so pretty much any of the easy uh drills are gonna work so we'll take a look at alley-oop passing first now if you've seen my shooting video you know that you get a certain amount of points or easy medium and hard drills so easy is not going to net you a whole lot of points but it's definitely a good way to start and they're very easy so alley-oop pass and all you got to do is co complete alley-oop passing so i feel like you can do this even if you barely have any attribute points at all you're just starting the game it's easy to throw an alley-oop so you just double tap y and i did not do that on the first try <laughs> so what i try to do is i drive towards the defender and try to draw the defender out and then I double tap Y. And you gotta do double tap Y kind of quickly to pull off the alley-oop, because unlike what I just did the first time, I didn't double tap it quick enough. So yeah, just draw the defender out, get him to close out on you, double tap Y. Or if you're on PlayStation, I guess it would be triangle, I'm assuming. Throw the alley-oop. And I think you get 10 tries here. Wasn't paying attention at the beginning. Let's see if you convert at least six of them, you get two stars. I think you got to convert eight to get three stars, if I remember correctly. Which allows you to, you know, mess up a couple of times. Yeah, there's eight. So if you mess up two times, you know, as you're getting used to double tapping that Y. So I messed up once, but I got the three stars. So alley-oop passing is definitely a way to go starting off. And so to remind you really quickly, because I forgot to mention this earlier... Easy drills, three stars get you 700 points. Medium gets you 1,000. Hard gets you 1,300. So again, alley-oop passing, you get three stars, you get 700 points, but that's still points you can put towards earning your badges. And eventually, you know, with some grinding, you will get there. Another easy drill you can do is icon passing. Again, this is a drill you can do right off the bat. Doesn't take a whole lot of skill to be able to do this drill. So basically, you're going to tap RB or whatever it is for PlayStation if you're playing there. It's going to bring up the icons. And basically, there's going to be one guy that's open. And so you just got to pass it to that one guy. <laughs> Easy enough to do. I know sometimes you may get a little trigger happy and may accidentally pass it to the wrong person. Just take a second, breathe. You, get, you have a timer that's seven seconds, which is more than enough time to locate that open person. Tap that button after tapping R rb and then you'll get the pass to that the correct player so with this drill you got to complete all the passes to get the three stars if you mess up one time you will not get three stars so make sure you again you take your time you got seven seconds more than enough time to look for that open teammate all right another playmaking drill i'm actually going to skip the last easy playmaking drill which is jab work because if you look here there's a hard drill called advanced jab work it's essentially the same thing the only difference is with advanced jab work you have to get the jab step right the first time but even if you don't get it right there's still opportunity to score points which i'll talk about later so for the advanced jab work drill they're going to give you a jab step that you got to execute so you get a point for the correct jab step and then you've got to go around a defender and make the shot and so you get an, a point for making the shot as well the first few possessions so i gotta tap our right stick down while holding right trigger the first few possessions the defender does not play defense on you so all you got to do is just hit the jab step and then go around and score 
and you're you can mess up a few times in this drill and still get three stars because there's a few jab steps i can't do very well like i get them once in a blue moon and so far they haven't given me any of those oh wow i've been hitting all of them <laughs> this is the first i'm glad i'm doing this on camera for you guys oh, okay here's one that's gonna mess me up tap right stick up left and then twirl in the opposite direction <laughs> see i messed that up but again you still get a point for scoring now he's starting to play defense but when you execute a jab step pretty much it's easy to blow by a defender even early on in your my career i mean obviously uh if you have badges like space creator quick first step different things like that i went clockwise oh wow wait it said counterclockwise i just spun it clockwise and it worked anyways as long as you have badges like that um, that can help you even more so but i feel like if you execute the right jab step you should be able to blow around a defender you get a score of 16 and you earn your three stars so again that does allow you to mess up a couple of jab steps see i messed that one up but i was still able to get around him and score the last playmaking drill i want to showcase in this video that i feel is pretty easy early on is the pick and roll combo this is the hard difficulty drill so what you got to do is your teammate is going to come set a pick Okay, you got to get to the spot on the floor that's indicated. Then you got to pass the ball using a particular pass that they're going to tell you to use to that teammate. And then you'll catch the ball to shoot. Now, the only thing you might struggle with a little bit in this drill. First of all, maybe throwing alley-oops. I kind of, whenever I pass to the teammate using a bounce pass or alley-oop, after I get to the spot, I kind of go away from them a little bit. It just makes it easier it seems to complete the pass but the only thing you might struggle with in addition to the alley-oop pass there is shooting the ball if you don't have good shooting attributes so hopefully you checked out my shooting badges drills video that i've recorded before for you all and that can help you grind for those shooting badges but if your shooting's decent you should be able to score the baskets after making the pass Another thing you could try to do if, let's say, your three-point shooting's not that good. You can kind of almost control where they pass you the ball sometimes. Like, I couldn't on that one. But if you kind of stay inside the three-point line, your teammate may pass you the ball inside the three-point line. So if you got decent mid-range stats, that might help. So I kind of hesitated on that one, and then I missed the shot. But all you got to do is get a score of 10 and you will get three stars on this drill so you get a, a score for making the correct pass and then a score for shooting and you get plenty of opportunities that's why i feel like this drill is easy enough to do early on in your career even when your attributes are not very high and you don't have a whole lot of badges so this was another episode of nba 2k22 casual gamer tips with your boy Ascalon. Uh, today i showed you how to do easy practice drills that can help you grind for your playmaking badges and so i hope you have fun going out completing these drills again most of the playmaking drills are not that difficult um some of the others though require you know you to have cer certain attributes and to have certain badges to make them a little bit easier like the one man drill um if you're pretty good at shooting um that's the one that you can do pretty early on as well that can get you, um, I think that's a hard difficulty that can get you points. So hit that like button if you like what you saw in this video. More casual gamer tips coming soon. Um, leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Um, let me know if you got some favorite playmaking drills that you like to run and practice to grind for those playmaking badges. Subscribe to my channel for more content in addition to my NBA 2K22 casual gamer tips. I'm on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, all at Ascalon. So you can follow me there for additional content as well. So I'll see you guys next time in another video. Y'all take care. Peace.